Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, the first thing is that I cut my hair. I cut it yesterday, and then today I went back and I got more layers put in it because I'm just so indecisive and uh, I had to think about if I wanted them. So, I slept on it and I was like, yes, and I woke up this morning and I could not wait to go get them in. So, this is what it looks like. I kind of like it. I thought I was going to regret it, but... As of right now, I'm really liking it. If, like, my hair used to be way down past where the camera can see. <laughs> uh, it was, like, two foot long. I measured it. And now, wait. We're going to find out how long it is. Alright. So, I have layers. But, I'm going to just do from root to, like, the last piece of hair. Okay, so it looks like about a foot. If I pull my hair straight. About a foot. And before... I took, like, my longest piece and, like, did it. And it was definitely two feet. So, I lost, I lost a lot of hair. Y'all can't even see how long it was. But you can imagine two foot of hair. So, anyway, today's video is going to be my February favorites. And some of, like, my January ones, too, I guess. Because I didn't do a January favorites video, which I would have liked to have done. And also, I know that you guys haven't seen a new video in two weeks. But I've just struggled to film the week, like two weeks ago, I guess, or like the first week I didn't post one um, since my last video. I filmed a video and I just, like the video was 20 minutes long and it was the easiest makeup look that I've posted. I just talked so much and I thought about refilming it, but... The makeup didn't show up in the video like I liked it to. Like, I thought it was way prettier in person. And so, I just decided not to post that one. And then this past week, like, this week that I'm filming in, um, it's Friday. But you probably won't see this for a couple days. But anyway, I've been sick. So, if I sound a little funky, that's why. But I've been sick all weekend. It's been hard to, like, talk and sound normal. And I don't know. So, I just haven't filmed a video. Which I've really been wanting to, so I'm glad that I'm finally getting the chance to sit down and film a video. Another thing, too, um, I've kind of, like, I feel like I've held my personality back a little bit in my previous videos because, I mean, it's just hard to talk to a camera. If you want to see what it's like, just, like, pick up an inanimate object and try to talk to it. It's like there's nobody there, but... You gotta sound like yourself, and you kind of feel dumb. And even though there are gonna be people there, like when I post the video right now, like at this moment, I'm talking to an inanimate object, and it's just really weird. So it's kind of, it's just, I, I don't know. So anyway, in that one video that I filmed and didn't post the makeup tutorial that I told you about, I was just like, I just talked so much, and generally I talk a lot, like I just talk a lot, like I have been so far in the intro of this video, and my personality was coming out a lot more in that video, and it just went on forever, and the bloopers were just crazy, and uh, I don't even know, so this, if I'm talking a lot and it's weird because I haven't been, well, it's just because this is usually how I am. I just talk a lot and I'm a little crazy. So anyway, um, let's just go ahead and start with the video. So first off, I'm going to start with my beauty favorites. And I don't have a ton of them, which is weird. But then I'm going to include some other things that aren't beauty favorites. Next beauty favorite is the Morphe 350 palette, which looks like this. And if you're into makeup at all, you have probably heard about this. Um, it goes out of stock all the time, and it was hard to get my hands on this. But I was sitting in Kroger parking lot, and my mom was in Kroger's, and I was waiting on her to get out of the grocery store because she just ran in to grab a few things. Well, she came out to the car, and she put the groceries in there, and then she said that she forgot something. So she had to go back into Kroger. And while she was in Kroger, I saw on um, a beauty guru's Snapchat story, I can't remember who it was. It might have been Jacqueline Hill, I think it was. And uh, I saw that it was back in stock. So I went to, I texted my friend first, and I was like, hey, it's back in stock, so that she could get it. And then I went to the website, and I typed in all my information and everything. And then I'm sitting there, and I need my mom's credit card. And she's in Kroger. So I'm sitting there and I called her and I called her and she wasn't answering. And she was taking forever and I was scared it was going to go out of stock because it goes out of stock so frequently. 
And so finally, I saw her walk out of the door. So I rolled down the window and I scream out to her. I'm like, hurry, hurry, come on, come on. She's like, what? So she runs to the car. I'm like, hey, hey, can, can I have your credit card or debit card or whatever? And I was like, the Morphe 350 palette's back in stock, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, yeah, yeah, here it is. So we like, I like put it in and it didn't work for some reason. I tried it like two or three times with her PayPal and it was not working and she thought that it was the website and finally she checked her password and it was the wrong password but anyway I ended up getting it so that was great I know that was a really long story but exciting moment in my life and anyway so these um, eyeshadows are very good for the price they're like $23 and you get yeah they're I think it's like $22.50 or something I'm not a hundred percent sure but I will link this and everything else in the description box below. But anyway, you get 35 eyeshadows and it's like 20 some dollars. So it's less than a dollar for every single eyeshadow. And they're pretty good quality in my opinion. I was actually surprised at how good of quality they are. They're very pigmented and I just was surprised because of the price. Like I knew they were, that everybody thinks they're good, but they were just better than I expected. Like look how pigmented those are. And I barely even had to swirl my fingers in there to get that off. And it's just, they're so pretty. The only drawback, I would say, is that they're a little bit dusty. So, like, you, when you run your brush in them, a little bit of product um, comes off, like, too much. But it's not a problem when you apply it. It's just... I feel like you waste a little bit of product whenever you swirl your brush in it. But still, it is a really great deal and I think that the quality is great for the price. Okay, so recently I have fallen in love with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And I wear this every single day. This is just like the super blendable one. Not They have like a Lumi one too, but it's not that one. And I think that this is great. It compares really well with like my high-end foundations it has really nice coverage and I think that it's easy to blend and it's just probably my favorite ever drugstore one um, but it's also one of my favorite just in general out of high-end too it's really good so if you're looking for a new foundation at a good price or you don't even care what price it's still a good one so I would try it my next favorite is a lip product and you may have seen this in my Ulta haul but it is a Revlon matte lip color, Ultra HD matte lip color, in the shade Devotion. And it looks like this. And I think that it is really great. Now, it doesn't dry matte like a liquid lipstick does, but it gives off a matte finish and it's still hydrating. So, if you're one of those people that loves the look of liquid lipsticks, but whenever you put them on, they feel too drying and they get on your nerves, then this is a good product for you because it will give you a similar look as liquid lipsticks, but with a different feel. It's very moisturizing and I think it's really good for winter time. Also, I really just think that this color is really pretty and I just like it. <laughs> Plus, it smells delicious, so that is just another plus. It smells absolutely great. I love this. <laughs> All right, so my next favorite is another lip product, and it is just the EOS Lip Balm. Now, you've probably all heard of this, but <laughs> it's just been one of my favorites because it's winter time, and I need to keep my lips nice and moisturized so they don't chat, get chapped. And um, this is always my favorite lip balm of all time as of now so yep got a bunch of these laying around everywhere and I use these all the time alright so now we've come to my last beauty favorite and before I show you I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know that I got sent these products for free so if that bothers you then you don't even have to listen to this you could just skip over me talking about them but I do think that these products are really good and if I didn't, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't show them to you because I'm not really getting that much out of it anyway other than I already used the free products, but I don't have to talk about them. I actually just decided to because I like them. So the products that I'm going to talk about are from the brand Pura Dior, and they sent me shampoo. It's the Enriching Shampoo, the Healing Conditioner, and they also sent me an Argan Oil. So... 
First of all, the shampoo and the conditioner, I uh, really like. They're a little bit pricey, but if you don't mind the price, then I don't think that you'll be disappointed with these. They're both very good. So first I'm going to talk about the enriching shampoo, which when you first um, pump it out, it kind of smells and has the texture of like a medicated shampoo. Like you can buy like tea, I think they're called tea shampoos at Walmart. I'm not really, I'm not 100% sure, but they're, they're medicated shampoo poos for like dry and itchy scalp and things so this kind of gives the feel of that but it works really well um, doesn't leave my hair greasy or anything so it gets everything out without making my hair feel completely like stripped so it's nice I'm I don't really think that this is above average but I do think that the healing conditioner is above average Whenever you first pump it out, it feels really thin, and compared to other high-end conditioners, like if you buy salon quality ones or really expensive conditioners, usually they're like really thick. And even some drugstore ones are thick compared to this. This is very like lightweight feeling, so whenever I first pumped it out the first time I was like, ooh, like I'm not going to like this because I like a lot of conditioner. But once I put it in my hair and let it sit, and I rinsed it out. My hair felt really nice. And I I really like the conditioner. So if I wasn't going to buy both and I was just going to buy one, I would buy this conditioner because I really like it. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it or not because I... Or not repurchase it, just purchase it to begin with. Because I really like to try out new conditioners and shampoos. Like, I try them out constantly. Like, I'm into beauty products. So I try new things all the time. Because I don't want to, like, use the same thing. And I'm always looking for something better. But if I start using another one when this runs out, which it's almost gone, and I notice that my hair doesn't feel as good, then I'll probably buy the conditioner. I might not buy the shampoo. I don't know. I'll have to see if I notice a difference with it. But this one, I noticed a difference after the first day. So I think that this one is really good. And also, I have a discount code for this brand. And the discount code is BARIE25. I don't know if capital letters matter or not, but it's just a capital B and then lowercase A-R-I-25. And that will be left in the description box if you, like, want to see that again. And also a link to the website. Alright, so anyway, the last thing is the Argan Oil. Now... I use this in my hair and also like before I go to bed I would put it all over my face and just use it as a moisturizer and I think that it works really well but I don't know um, I haven't tried any other argan oils so I can't say that this is better or worse or anything so I can just say that this is good if you were looking into it but I don't know if it's better or worse the only thing that like really I like thought was really good was the healing conditioner. I mean, both of the other things are good, but this is what really, like, caught my attention. So, anyway, let's move on from beauty favorites, which is my favorite part. Um, so, <laughs> usually a couple times a week, I'll have coffee in the mornings, and I didn't used to be, like, a coffee person, but I like cappuccinos, so, um, this is, like, a Keurig cup thing, and this is the Indulgio Cappuccino Mix Vanilla Frosted Cinnamon Bun. Yeah, I don't really like coffee without a lot of sugar and stuff, but this is really good, so that's what the top looks like. And this is actually my last one, so we need to get some more, but these are really good, especially when you got some whipped cream to put that on top, and kind of good. <laughs> okay, so next are my, like, song favorites, and the first one is Love Yourself by Justin Bieber. Now, I just think that this song, I don't know what it is about it, but I just think that it's so funny. Like, the part where he says, my mom doesn't like you, and she likes everyone. I don't know, I think it's so funny. And also, I just like the song. <laughs> then, Hideaway by, like, Daya or Daya, I don't know. These Some of these songs have been out for a while, but I still listen to them. They come on the radio all the time. And, like, Hideaway, I like to sing a lot, even though I might not be very good. But, um, I like her range, so I like the high range so when I sing in the car that's what I sing too <laughs> and then I also like the song here by Alessia Cara and if you actually listen to the lyrics in that song it has a good message I think and I don't know I just think that it's cool and I don't know I like it 
And then also I have two favorite TV shows. Well, actually I have a lot of favorite TV shows. I watch way too much TV. But I picked two <laughs> to talk about. So the first one is Pretty Little Liars. And if you don't watch Pretty Little Liars, like you need to watch Pretty Little Liars. You need to go back and watch all of the seasons because they're all great. And I did that out like, I think it was like last year. The first couple seasons, I hadn't seen all the episodes. I'd just seen some of them. So I went back on Netflix and I watched all of them. I don't even have Netflix now, but I have On Demand because I have Comcast. But anyway, I love Pretty Little Liars. And this season is like, it, they came back and it's like five years later than the last season. And I was kind of worried before the season started. I was like, oh no, this isn't going to be good. And they already found out who A is and everything. But this, it's great. Pretty Little Liars is just great. All the episodes are great. You should watch it. If you don't, it's great. <laughs> and then the other show is Superstore, which I think that this is like the first season of it ever. And it's just a comedy. It's like 30 minutes, I think. And it's just funny. And if I need like to laugh or relax or whatever, I just... That's my show right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more videos, then make sure to subscribe and like it if you want to see my favorites next month. Alright. Bye guys. I'll see you next time. Crazy. So. <laughs> oh. And um. And everything else in uh, the description. Dry scalp, itchy scalch. And I'm digging my hair. It's like so weird. It's kind of like I lost my baby, but then it's also like I had a new baby, you know? All that sounded really weird. And, whew. I don't know, but short hair is like hard to style. I don't know.